Today we are going to look at sagging bending moments and hogging bending moments. If we look at deflected shape of a structural element, in simple words, a sagging bending moment results in a downward curve, something like this, and a hogging bending moment results in an upward curve, something like this. Now let's look at stresses in each situation. I'm going to use this piece of plastic to represent a beam. You can see that I've drawn an arrangement for a simply supported beam with a point load and the deflected shape of this beam would be something similar to this shape. A sagging moment results in tensile stresses in the bottom section of the beam and compressive stresses in the top section of the beam. When the beam is deflected in this shape, you can see that the bottom section is stretched, hence the tensile stresses, and the top section is shortened, hence the compressive stress. If I represent this cantilevering section with the point load at the end with this piece of plastic, then we can look at hogging bendy moment. You can see that my right hand is representing the fixed support and at that point and onwards we have an upward curve in the deflected beam. Therefore the top section of the beam is stretched and that is causing tensile stresses and the bottom section of the beam is shortened and that is causing compressive stresses. The typical sign convention is to consider sagging bending moments as positive and hogging bending moments as negative. I will add a YouTube card here and a link in the description box below to a video where I explain the typical sign convention in more detail. Therefore, when you draw bending moment diagrams, you will draw sagging bending moment above x-axis and hogging bending moments below x-axis. If we take this example where we have a simply supported beam with a point load in the middle, this will result in a sagging bending moment and we've drawn that sagging bending moment above x-axis. If we look at this example with a fixed end cantilever beam, with a point load at the end, this will result in a hogging bending moment and we've drawn the bending moment diagram below x-axis to represent that correctly. If you have any questions about this video, please post your questions in the comment section. If you like the video, please subscribe to our channel and I will see you all in my next video.